the use operator is used to import a namespaced element into the current namespace. The current namespace is simply the namespace where the current code is. Code that isn't in a namespace is said to be in the global or root namespace. If you don't explicitly define one, then it's the global namespace. Most of PHP's built-in classes and functions are in this namespace. You can run into problems, however, when using elements in the global namespace from code that's in a namespace. Let's look at an example. Here we have a class called DateCalc, which has one method called GetToday. Inside this method, we create a new DateTime object and then call its format method to return a textual description of the current day, which will be the string Monday or Tuesday, and so on. The DateTime class is a built-in class in PHP and it's in the global namespace. The DateCalc class doesn't have a namespace declaration, so it's also in the global namespace. To use this class, we require it, create a new object of that class, and call its getToday method, echoing out whatever that method returns. And when we run this, we get a string that says Tuesday. Let's see what happens though if we put this class in a namespace. We'll add a namespace declaration at the top, putting this class in the app namespace. So when we create an object of this class, we need to specify this namespace, putting it before the class name. When we run this, however, we get a fatal error. Class app datetime not found. So what's going on? This date calc class is now in the app namespace. So any code in here runs inside that namespace. PHP looks for classes relative to the current namespace. So when we try and create a date time object, PHP looks for the date time class inside the app namespace, hence the error message class app date time not found. There are two ways we can fix this. First, we can refer directly to the global namespace by prefixing the date time class with a backslash. A backslash before a class function or constant means use the global namespace, even if the current namespace is different. Now when we run the code, it works. The other way to fix this is not use the backslash. Instead, use the use operator to import this class. You can do this with a leading backslash like this, or actually without it too. Unlike inside a method as we just saw, the use operator assumes everything starts from the root, so a leading backslash isn't required here. And now when we run the code, it works again. So be careful when using globally namespaced elements from within namespaced code. PHP looks for these in the current namespace, so you might have to refer to them by prefixing them with a backslash or using the use operator to import them.